So this video is about one home automation product which was sent to me by one home automation company based in India called it Smart Ten, an Indian company. So in this video, I'm gonna test that product, like how to use it. I will let you know what are the features of that particular product. And in the end, I will also share my reviews on that particular product. And one more thing, if you watch this video till the end, you'll get a special coupon code using which you can get straight 10% off on any purchase of from Smart 10 website. But the trick is that coupon code is not available in the description. It's in the video. So you have to watch the video till the end. You have to. So let's get started. Okay, so before starting this video, let's just thank the sponsor of this video, which is the LTM, okay? So LTM is a PCB designer based software company. And if I tell you one very interesting, very unique and very, very useful feature of this software, then this software allows you to make any angle routing. Now, what does that mean and how it will be useful? So in some electronic components, which have uneven and closely packed pin spacing, it's not possible to make a 45 degree path angle of the route all the time. So LTM allows you to make any angle routing paths and between the pins and in the end just make them smooth to look like one single route. Isn't that the most useful and interesting and handy feature provided by the software? I think it is and well you can also try this and many other features of the LTM PCB designer software by just clicking on the link in the description. Yes, by clicking that link you will be able to access the free trial version of the software and if you find that interesting and useful, well you can make the purchase of the software later on. So go ahead and try the free trial version of the LTM PCB designer software. So this company called Smart Den sent me three of that product out of them. One is the Smart Plug, other is the Smart IR Blaster. And the third is this 3 plus 1 home automation product, what they call as Blaze plus 4. So in this video, I'm going to particularly test this product and let you know everything regarding this. So let's first start with the overview of the product. So using this particular product, you can control three AC appliances and additionally, you can also control one fan. Like you can not only turn on and off that fan, but you can also control the speed of the fan just like we do with the, that manual regulator. And now talking about the how many ways we can control or we can interact with our appliances, then you can control your appliances with the dedicated smartphone application, which is available for both iOS and Android. You can control it with the smart assistant like Google, Alexa or Siri. You can also control all the appliances and the speed of the fan with the manual switches and the manual fan regulator as well it works with the manual switches as well so it has almost all the possible interaction option that uh, a smart home product should have okay now for the all tech or geeky guys watching this video let's have a glance about what's inside this product just a little not very deep just a little not very deep hey what's that double meaning so when I opened this product, first thing which I noticed is our favorite ESP8266 chip. So I thought this whole product must be based on that particular ESP8266 chip only. But when I had a deep glance over it, I found one more very interesting and favorite IC before ESPs were launched. And that is the Atmega328, that same chip which is used inside Arduino Uno boards. So what I concluded is all the control parts like controlling the relays and getting the data from the temperature sensor will be done through the Atmega chip and all the wireless connectivity part like sending data to the cloud and receiving from the cloud will be done through the ESP8266 Now that is what I concluded, okay? Moving ahead, now what other thing which I noticed in the product is this white boxes which are nothing but the relays. So there are three relays for controlling three appliances. And what about the fan? For that, they must have used one of the phase dimming method. Now, how I concluded it by just having a look over the two white ICs, MOC3021 and MCT2E. Now, if you don't know how this phase dimming method actually works for dimming the AC appliances, I'll suggest you to watch out my this video in which I explain all the logic, all the science behind like how uh, phase dimming help us in dimming the AC appliances. Do watch out that video if you are unaware about this concept. So now we are all clear with how this particular hardware is working, okay? So now let's just move ahead about how to use this product. But before that, let me show you what else you'll get along with this product. So along with the main product, you'll get these many other components. Out of them, one is the sensor strip, which has the built-in IR blaster, as well as the temperature sensor in it, which will be connected to this port of the main product. Then we have this wire extender for connecting manual switches with the product, which will be connected with this connector. And these other wires will go directly to the switches. And we also have the potentiometer to manually control the speed of the fan, which will be connected to this port. 
So that's it. Now let's jump on to one of the switchboard at my studio and let's see how to install this product. So first of all, I open up the switchboard. Now I'll suggest you to turn off the means before touching the wires, otherwise you land up doing this. Karwali bezti. Karlo switch off. After that, I removed all the previous connections and also removed the fan regulator from the switchboard and then I attached the potentiometer that comes along with the product and now comes the most difficult part of the installation which is to make the connections. So now you have to connect all the appliances and switches according to this connection diagram. Now I will suggest you to take the hard copy of this connection while installing the product as it seems very confusing at once. You should also consult your electrician in case you are not confident enough with making the connection. But as we all are the experts. Okay, just leave. Now the company says this product can be installed behind the switchboards, but in my case there was not enough space behind the switchboard, so I have to install this product just above it. But in your case, you may be able to just fit it inside the switchboard. But before switching that product inside the switchboard, make sure you make the configuration of mobile application. Let me show you how to do that. So first of all, you need to download this app called as Smart Den, which is available for both Android and iOS. After that, make an account here and log into that account. Now we will click on New Home. Now give it a name. I will name it as Studio. After that, click on Create Home. Done. So now it's the time to add device here. Click on add device, tap on plus and here just search for the device that you have. In my case, it is Blaze plus 4, so I'll select that. Now there are two ways to register your device with the app, either by entering the device ID manually or by just scanning the QR code. I'll go for the QR code option. As we scan that, the device ID is recognized by the app. Now we need to connect our phone with the access point created by the device. So after connecting my phone, I'll tick this box and select next. After that, I'll provide the credentials of my Wi-Fi router so that the device can talk to internet. And that's it. We are almost completed with the setup part. Now just give a name to this product in your application and assign a room name to it. Now you can go to the device option and you'll able to see all the four switches here. So now we can control the appliances with the help of the app from anywhere in the world over internet. Not only that, we can also control it with the help of manual switches just like this. And yes, you will also get the real-time feedback of the manual switch on your mobile application. Now talking about the fan, and we can control the speed of the fan using the mobile application and also with the help of the manual fan regulator just like this. But here you won't be getting the feedback of that manual regulator on your smartphone application. So yeah, you won't be getting that feedback. So that was all about the appliances controlled through the smartphone application and the manual switches. But in the smartphone app, you get a couple of more features and a couple of more details, just like it will show you how much power is being consumed by the appliances connected with this particular product. And you'll also get the current temperature of your room or studio, wherever this product is installed inside the application. Now we are still left with one more feature that comes along with the product which is its IR Blaster. So using that feature you will be able to control the AC, radio, TV or basically all the appliances that works on that IR remote. You can now control it through this product via your smartphone application. I also configured it to control my AC in the studio. Let me show you the demo for that as well. So as you can see, I'm able to control the AC in my studio with my smartphone and this will also work from anywhere in the world via internet. Now there are a couple of more features which I haven't included in this video, otherwise the video will become way more longer, but let me tell you. So you can definitely control your appliances or AC and all the things with the help of the Google Assistant and Alexa and CD as well. Other than that, you can also schedule your appliances like when to turn on, when to turn off automatically. 
as well as you can also create particular scenes like party scenes, meeting scenes, night scenes in which a particular appliances will turn on and particular appliances will get turned off based on what scene you have created. Okay. So these are the small features which are included inside the application. Okay. So basically this is a complete smart home package that you get along with this product, which I will definitely suggest you or recommend you. So now if you are finding this product interesting and if you want to purchase this product, let me guide you how you can get this product and how to get that particular 10% discount. Stay tuned. So first of all, click the link mentioned in the description that will take you to the Smart Den homepage. Now you have to click that link mentioned in the description only, okay? Now here you need to search for the product that you want to purchase. Or for that, click on this icon and search for Blaze Plus 4. Now this is the same product which we have discussed right now, okay? I'll press enter. And here is that product. Click on it and just click on add to cart okay so this product price is 6220 indian rupees okay it's already added to the crowd uh, cart i'll click on view cart and here you need to apply the coupon code to get the discount okay so quantity is two i will take it to one okay so what's the coupon code so this is the coupon code which uh, using which you'll get the straight 10 percent discount i'll apply the coupon code and let's see what happens okay as you can see i got a discount of 622 rupees and now the final product price comes to 5598 which i think it's a pretty great deal with what features are included in this product uh and how it's like seamlessly able to control all the appliances and the speed of the fan and everything it's a great deal guys okay so at this particular final price point you can get this product delivered at your home and you can also make your home a smart home so now we discussed almost every aspect everything regarding this product now it's a time for the conclusion like what's my take on this particular product so first of all, uh, talking about the average consumer, the regular consumers in the market, it's a pretty good product. You will get all the features and all the, what you can say, luxuries that a smart, a smart home provides. You'll get all the things in this particular product. And I think the price is really very reasonable and it's a deal for you guys. But being a tech, being in the field of IoT since so many years, uh, let me just discuss some of the technical aspects of it, which will be only noticed or by the tech people out there. I already give the review for the normal consumers. It's a great deal. You can go for it. Now let's talk about the geeky guys. Like what things which I found which missing in it or a thing which I found a pretty low in it. Okay, let me tell you. So first and very like most important thing which I found which is really lacking and this will be also for the average consumer which is its documentation. Now it's my request to the company that do provide a better animated video or rather a, a real life video on how to install this product in your switch boards, okay, in your home, how to install that because I found the diagram pretty confusing and uh, if, if it seems confusing to me, I can imagine what what will be the confusion in the average consumer on the average people, okay. So better you make a animated video kind of thing for a like a ease of a like convenience of your consumers or for your customers, okay. So that's the thing which I found lacking, uh, lack of documentation, proper documentation, which is I found missing in it. Second thing is, as I told you, you won't be getting the feedback of the manual fan regulator on your smartphone application. It's just because they have used that face dimming method. But in case they have used the capacitive dimming method, which we have used in our all-in-one home automation product uh, project. So if they have used this, you may be getting the feedback of the manual fan regulator as well. So that can, that was a feature which can be added if they have shifted to that capacitive dimming method. So that, that, that's the thing which I found which is lacking. Otherwise, you'll be getting the feedback of all the switches. Now, as we are talking about the feedback, let me talk about the latency. If you're like in the field of IoT, if you have made some of the IoT home automation projects using Blink, Ubitots or any of that platform, you'll find that the latency on this particular product, the latency of getting the data or getting the feedback of that switch on the appliances is a bit high, okay? It's like half a second or something more than that, okay? So it takes that much time to reflect the data onto your smartphone application. Now this latency won't be visible to an average consumer, but for tech people, it will be kind of a visible to you. It's, it's, a bin, it's, it's a bit high latency, okay? So that can be reduced 
for sure and this is also again an advice to the company so that was all uh, my take on this product that was all my take for the company as well and for the consumers as well but overall if i just need to uh, you know get, give the conclusion in one single line it's a good home automation product you can go for it so that was all about my review video you can say or getting started video you can say on the place plus four home automation product and uh, now you guys like you know will you be purchasing this product like how you find this product is it interesting it is useful will you be like installing this product on your home or do you have any other smart home automation product recommendation which has better deal better features then also let me know your thoughts in the comment of the video and that being said just hit the like button if you love this video if you want to purchase the link is in the description and that's it ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and explore learn share with me tech sms